I'm going to show you how to do these cute little spiders for Halloween. And sorry for the picture. I scraped the purple one and couldn't fix it and was too lazy to redo it. So here we go. You're going to need black and white paint, purple polish, orange polish, silver polish, green polish, a glitter polish, top coat, a thin brush and a detail brush, and googly eyes. So go ahead and paint the background for the spider web in white and just paint it like I show here. You can also use polish for this. I just always did prefer to use acrylic paint. If your polish starts to get too thick on your palette, you can add a little bit of nail polish thinner or you can add nail polish remover being that it's not going into the bottle, just add it to your palette. If you're using paint, add water. Also, before you start painting, I forgot to tell you, cover your nails with a thick layer of top coat. That way, if you make a mistake, you can just wipe it off and you won't have to take off your polish. You'll see in a minute I'm going to make a mistake. You're about to see what happens when you add just a little bit too much water to your paint. When I go to paint this next line right here, it's gonna go on really thin and it's, you're not gonna be able to see it hardly. If that happens, just mix a little more paint. And if you make a mistake over the white, it's fine because you can just take the white paint and go over it. And right about there is what I, where I made the mistake. So since you have the thick layer of top coat, you can just take your cleanup brush, dip it in a little bit of acetone or polish remover, and quickly try to wipe it away. You don't want to let it sit on there for too long because then it'll start to eat through the top coat. You don't have to get it off completely. Nobody's really going to notice the tiny little smudge. So you just correct your line and move on. This probably would have been better to do with my thin brush, my liner brush that I have cut really thin. So if you have one, go ahead and do this step, the inside of the spider web, with your thinner brush. I really wish I had done this entire design with the thinner brush. I'm not really too good with the detail brush, but I thought I'd give it a try. And as you can see, my lines are just coming out entirely too thick. If you want, you can just skip the white behind it altogether. I just think it looks cuter with the white. Here we're going to draw the web that the spider is hanging from. And then we're going to go straight into the spider. For the googly eyes, I actually bought them at, I want to say Michael's for maybe two or three dollars. And they're the smallest ones you can find. I, I mean, they're really tiny. Now we're drawing on the legs. My nails aren't square. My nails kind of go in on the sides. Uh, the square leto shape, I believe it's called. If you have square nails, you'll be able to see the legs a lot better. So for mine, it's just a little hint at legs. Go ahead and after everything dries, apply a top coat. And before the top coat dries, you're going to want to stick those eyes on there. You can also use brush on nail glue if you want to, it to last a little longer, but I change my nail polish so often it really doesn't matter how long it lasts. If you don't have googly eyes, you can also do this with a dotting tool and black and white paint. And for the rest of my nails, I just did a few more Halloween colors and some glitter accent nails for my thumb and my ring finger. You can find me on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube, and here's how to find me.
Also, use the hashtag LookRe for a chance to have your recreations featured at the end of my next video. Bye!